What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out one of the new features contained in SketchUp 2023.1, snaps. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, remember that these snaps were added in version 2023.1. So if you have anything older than that version, these aren't going to be in there. Just make sure you have the most up-to-date version before you go looking for these. But basically what this allows you to do is this allows you to create custom snap points in your model. And so let's say for example that we wanted to take this round ductwork and set it so that it snaps together. Well, what we want to do is we're going to double click into an object. That's how you can add snaps. I had some in here, but we'll erase them and start over again. And so what I want to do is once you double click into an object, right? So double click into an object, right click, doesn't matter what you right click on, you want to look for the option for make edit snaps. And so what that's going to do is that's going to put you in a mode where you can create snaps in your SketchUp model. And notice how they're gonna respect the SketchUp inferencing that's in here. You do wanna be a little bit careful when you're doing this um, to make sure that you're placing it on the location you actually want, as opposed to like accidentally putting it on the back wall or something like that. But when we do this, and again, right click, make edit snaps, what we can do is we can set a snap point in our model. And so there's a couple different ways that we can do this, right? So first off, we can use the left, right, and up inferencing if we decide that we want to do that um, using the left right and up arrow keys in here and so in a lot of situations that's going to be okay um, you just want to be careful with the orientation of these snaps which we'll talk about in a second but let's say that I was to place this snap right here notice what that did is that placed the snap in the 3d space well now let's place a snap over here so just right click make edit snaps and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tap key so that I can lock my inference to this green direction. We're going to set a snap right here. Well, now that means is that means if I take this object and I move it, it's going to basically snap it to this object right here, right? So if I move my mouse over here, it's going to snap to this object. And so one cool thing about these snaps is you can use them not only as move points and copy points, you can also use them as rotation points, right? So if I come in here and I use the rotate tool, um, I can use this to rotate these by a certain number of degrees. So if I didn't want this to be vertical, I could rotate this 90 degrees right here and place that that way. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is you want your snaps to be oriented the proper direction. And I wish there was a little bit better of a visual indicator of the way this works, but let's say that I was to come in here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna make edit snaps like this, and I'm gonna tap the left arrow key like this. Notice how that color changed when I did that. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a second because that's gonna be important. But say that I was to take this and I can tap the M key and I can actually use this to go into the move tool in copy mode. Okay, and so the issue here with the snap is if I try to use the move tool in copy mode right now, what that's gonna do is that's gonna place the snap in the wrong direction right? So these snaps actually have a direction associated with them. I really wish there was a visual indicator of which direction these snaps were facing. It just, it doesn't do a very good job of showing you which direction the snap is facing. Now there's two ways we could fix this, right? So the first way is we could actually select the snap and notice how you can select a snap um, and it shows up as an object in here, but you can actually use the flip tool in order to flip the direction that the snap is facing, right? So now it's facing this other direction, but again, this is really hard to see. So I wish there was an arrow in there, but if I use the move tool in copy mode now, after I flip that, notice how now this is gonna snap the proper direction. And once you get the directions set up in here, this can actually be really powerful for the way that you can create and quickly add the snaps in here. So say I wanted to create another copy of my ductwork right here. Anything that's like a fixed size that's gonna to come together like this is gonna be a lot faster with these snaps. Um, so that's one way you could do it. The other way that you could do it with the snaps is instead of using the inference locking, which is what we were doing, you can instead right click and when you do a make edit snaps. Okay, so we'll click right here, but notice how when I move my mouse, I can set the direction this snap is going to face. So that's probably a better way to do this is to not use the directional inference locking, but to just single click 
and set the direction that this is facing. And so there's a lot of interesting applications for this, right? So say that you had a piece of duct and you wanted to be able to snap like little diffuser panels on here or something like that. Well, I could just come in here and I could just see my hidden geometry and I'm going to just right click again and do a make edit snaps. And I'm just gonna tap the right arrow key to lock this, but then I could set a bunch of different snap points on here to be able to snap objects in here. And then I could use that in order to snap basically anything I want in here. And I could do same thing on the bottom like this for other objects. And so the more snap points I set in here, the more options I'm going to have. So for example, if I use the move tool in copy mode and I use this snap point right here, notice how, and again, I think I need to come in here and reverse the orientation of this snap point that's in here, but now, I can create a copy and anywhere over these snap points, this is gonna snap and align, right? So tap control to go into copy mode like this. Notice how I can use this in order to quickly add this detail in here. Now, one thing I wish you could do that you can't do is there's a function here called tractor beam, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a second. But basically what it does is if you tap the alt key, it's going to take your object and it's going to try to automatically align it with the closest snap point. It would be nice to be able to use tractor beam in order to align to an object, right? So like lock to a point and then like hold the shift key or something and then place this wherever. But notice how if I click, it's just going to basically place this on top of that point right there. So at the moment, that tool isn't quite doing what I would like for it to do, but I understand why it's there. It would also be nice to be able to flip this object just by tapping a key, right? So flip the orientation in here. Cause again, I just keep running into that same issue where the orientation of one point or another point just isn't quite right based on the way that I place these in here. Um, and it would be nice to be able to fix that without having to change the point itself. But I can mouse over this and I can use this in order to quickly place objects on snaps in SketchUp. And so let's take a look at that tractor beam just a little bit more. So let's say that we had some pipe right here. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this out. I don't really care how long it is, um, but let's say that we had um, some snap points that were placed on this piping. All right, so then I'll take this object. I've already got the snaps on there. I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode like this. And again, I have to come in here and reverse the orientation of the snaps. Again, so a visual indicator would be extremely helpful in this location, in this situation. And again, maybe I'm missing it, so feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know if I'm just missing something in here with the orientation of these objects. And so the tractor beam option, what it's gonna do is when you activate this tool, if you tap the Alt key, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put you in tractor beam mode. This is basically going to find the closest snap point and orient your object so that it's facing towards that snap point. Now, if you click off of the object in space, it's just going to basically snap to the closest point to your cursor. And so again, if you're off of your object, right? So if I put this in copy mode, it's just going to, wherever you click, it's going to place it on top of the snap point right there. So um, definitely interesting. I think there's some other things they could do with the tractor beam function that would make it a little bit more useful. Um, but I do like the way that it visually shows you the way that things are going to align. Okay, so another interesting function in here, we're gonna right click into a make edit snaps is the ability to set the snap rotation, right? So I'm going to set the forward direction to be here. Well, notice what this does when you first create the snap is it gives you the ability to use this rotate function. And so that is going to set the orientation or the direction along which the objects are going to snap. Notice how there's an option at the bottom when you're in create mode, you can tap control in order to go into a modify mode and you can use this to modify that snap. Well, in this case, I'm going to set that snap so it's pointed this direction. So what that means is that means that this chair is going to have that orientation based on the snaps. So let's say that I was to come into this group and we're going to set a snap faces up right here. And we're actually gonna create a couple of these. So another snap right here and another snap right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna go into control or I wanna tap control and I want to change the orientation of each one of these snaps. 
like this, right? So I've got these three points in here. Well, now I can use the move tool and I can move this and notice what this is going to do. And again, I've got this facing the wrong direction or maybe I've got the other ones facing the wrong direction. I can't really tell by looking at it, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip the snap so I know it's facing the direction that I want. But now if I use the move tool, notice how this is going to align this object with those snap points. And I set them a little close to the wall, but you get what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna move this back, we'll move this back, but notice how this object alignment is aligning your object to the different snaps based on those rotations. So you can set not only fixed points right here, but also points of the rotation associated with them if you wanna do that. And so you could use that for like the direction that your ductwork is facing too, if it already had these diffusers on it or something like that. That's definitely an interesting application of directions with the snaps. All right, so for me, I think there's definitely some good applications for snaps. I think there could be some refinement in the way that it works right now, but it is an interesting new function to me. If you wanna learn more about how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.